Good morning guys, here from Seville and we are, of course, the first thing that we are visiting today it is the main attraction which is the Rio Alcazar and the entrance is right behind me my voice sounds a little bit weird because it's, first of all, it's way too early and second, I got a little bit cold but that's definitely not going to stop us Just so you know, we bought the tickets online uh, they cost 14 euros 50 but we're actually not visiting all of the parts I think like the full ticket was 20 euros but we are more like skip some of the parts visit the main thing kind of people and here we are in front of the Alcazar already at 10 a.m which might not seem so early but for Spanish standards trust me we were real early birds and one of the first things which shook me it is actually how much you can see the Moorish influence even from the entrance and if you are wondering what does Moorish mean, let me tell you, just also because I was as confused as you most probably are. Basically, this means it relates to the Muslim people from Northern Africa who ruled Spain from 711 until 1492. That's quite a long time, but you can really see and feel this influence both in the architecture here in the Alcazar and in many places around the city. Touch, but I love Wait, being stop, stop close. Touching. I love being close to love being intrusive. feeling them like here. <clears throat> and guys, fun fact also, Columbus came to Seville and here to the Alcazar because basically, all Spanish trade with the so called New World was managed from the city. Imagine playing hide and seek in here, <laughs> it will be an endless game. So since it was our first full day, we also wanted a full-on Seville experience as well. So after visiting the Rio Alcazar, which is the most popular thing to visit, we went to Plaza de España, which I have seen so many times on TikTok that I just couldn't wait to see it in real life as well. By the way, guys, can you believe that today it's the 14th of October and the degrees are and it will be up to 33 degrees? I think this is literally the perfect place for me, also because it is so freaking beautiful. And I find it a little bit crazy to believe that we are actually allowed to sit into one of these because it feels like sitting into a museum. And guys, the interesting thing about the, this place in here is that not only, by the way, I'm trying to look without my sunglasses, but it's extremely sunny. But here we have all the major cities in Spain and they're all in alphabetical order. And as you can see, we're in the very beginning. So this is Alicante, which is very close to Valencia where we went to last year. And another quite cute thing is the space right here because basically you can put in uh, do some sort of book exchange you put your books in here and then other people put theirs as well but as you can see it's not really popular at the moment but look how detailed everything is oh so this is the region where we are at the moment now we are here in Seville and we have been also here to Malaga and Granada which would be somewhere here I don't see it another wonderful city to visit it is oh it's not written but it is yeah you, you, you're sitting where it's written uh, yeah it's okay. but there are a lot of things to visit in Granada including La Alhambra 
siamo andati. And for example, here we have Toledo, which is uh, like this medieval city really close to Madrid. So if you're going to Madrid, I also suggest you checking out the city as well because it's only one hour by train. Then it's time for some late Spanish lunch at this authentic Spanish place where we were the only foreigners. <laughs> And you know how they say there's always some space for the dessert. Yes, today was one of these days. Yum! I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I mean, ever since I saw it like two minutes ago. Mm. Mm. I think that's why they gave me a spoon. It's really nice. There's like the meringue and a cream. It's great. Oh. Please. And the last thing which you shouldn't miss in Seville, it is Las Setas. It is thought to be the largest wooden sculpture in the world. We actually visited it in a different day, but you can totally do all of those things in only one day. All lamp curious gang, we are here at the Mirador. We got the tickets, which is uh, 5 euros per person. If you see only this, but if you decide to watch some sort of movie, then it's 10. But to be honest with you, we're here for the view. Oh, oh, it's such from there. Okay. <laughs> but let me guys show you the view. Hola todos. Oh, it's actually quite nice. And this is actually one of the biggest wooden sculptures in the world. But now that I see it, I have to be honest with you, it doesn't really or at least not this part. Oh, okay, now I can actually see that these parts in here are wooden, whereas the sculpture over there, it's not. And you don't even need so much time to visit it, maybe like 20 to 30 minutes would be great, like in one hour it's more than enough. But you can enjoy the panoramic walk away, which is a quite cool thing to do in Seville. And also in the basement of the sculpture, you can find Roman and Moorish remains that are on a display in a small museum. Even if you decide not to go up to see it, looking the sculpture from down, it is still really impressive. And we finished the day with some Spanish paella. I'm not going to share the name of the restaurant with you because I don't think it was that great. And this is it from me guys from Seville. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more, more travel related content and videos from London, don't forget to hit the subscribe bell button down below. Love you all! Bye!